Hi, uh, ah, I was just, I see like hi like 10 million times. Um, hi guys, today I wanted to show you what my everyday makeup looks like. It's taken me a while to come to a consistent routine that I really enjoy doing. Also, I want to quickly say these products and the way I put them on my face might not work for everyone. Personally, I have quite dry skin, so you'll see. I do a couple of extra steps to make sure that my base stays nice and glowy throughout the day. So yeah, I hope you enjoy this video. The first and arguably most important step in my makeup routine is skin prep. I use a CeraVe moisturising lotion all over my face and neck. I'm yet to try a primer that I love more than simply having a well moisturised base to my makeup. I then use aloe vera Vaseline on my lips and under my eyes. The area around my eyes can get particularly dry, especially at the moment as autumn's cooler weather is fast approaching. And I've noticed that adding this extra layer of hydration helps my concealer last all day without creasing. The first area of my face which I apply makeup to is my eyebrows. I use e.l.f.'s brow lift to set them in place. I used to neglect my eyebrows, allowing them to do their thing without giving them too much attention. However, as I've recently thinned them out, I can't get away with just running through them with a spoolie anymore. I then very haphazardly fill in sparse areas with a dark brown eyebrow pencil that I bought so long ago that the label is completely rubbed off. I make a couple of final adjustments with a spoolie before applying Collections Lasting Perfection Stretch Concealer. I initially use a brush to apply the concealer to my face to make sure that I only use as much product as I need and then blend it out using my ring fingers. I feel that this combination of techniques makes my concealer look the best. As I still have a residual tan, I take the smallest amount of the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in the middle of my face to slightly deepen the shade of the Collection Concealer. Next, I contour using Fenty Beauty's Matchsticks. As I have more of a heart-shaped face, I find that this particular contour placement enhances my features the best. Using the tiniest amount of Revolution's Loose Baking Powder, I set the areas where I use concealer and clean up my face contour. I find that pressing in the powder with a beauty blender, rather than baking with a thicker layer, makes my makeup look more seamless. Continuing with contour, truthfully, I'm still figuring nose contour out. I don't think I've found a style that fully complements my nose shape yet. But for now, I take the same Fenty matchsticks to my nose, lower lip and outer eyes. I blend the eye contour out and up using a beauty blender and blend the nose contour with my fingers. To bring back some definition, I use Rimmel's Soft Coal Eyeliner Pencil on the tip and bridge of my nose. While I let that set, I take Pixie's On The Glow blush all over my cheekbones using a beauty blender. My favourite thing about applying this blush in this way is how it gives a natural flush of colour and a beautiful dewy glow at the same time. After blending the blush all over my cheeks, I use a little more and concentrate it just underneath the outer corners of my eyes. Letting that sit for a moment, I blend out my nose contour using a tiny dense brush and set it with the deeper shade from Revolution Pro's Sculpt and Glow Duo. Using the same shade, I set the eye contour with a fluffy brush. I feel like applying the same product on multiple areas of my face makes my makeup look more cohesive. Now I blend out my blush. As you can see, leaving it to marinate for a moment makes it more pigmented. I take the loose baking powder to clean up my nose, eyes and lip contour, drawing short lines so I want to bring some brightness back into my face. Now moving on to my eyes, I tight line my inner and outer corners using the same coal eyeliner that I used on my nose. I draw a tiny line above the outer lash line and use an angled eyeliner brush to drag the product to form a wing. For the longest time, I found myself trying to copy popular beauty gurus makeup without realizing that for the most part, they have completely different features to me. After years and years of experimenting with some horrible eyeliner placements, I have found that drawing a thinner wing that's the same angle as or slightly lower than the angle of my inner corner enhances the natural shape of my eyes the most. After cutting my lashes, 
I use my favourite mascara of all time, L'Oreal's Telescopic. I prefer longer lashes over more volume, and this is the only mascara I've tried that makes my lashes stay long and upright all day. Even after being a fan of this mascara for three years or so, I still get shocked at how amazing it makes my eyelashes look. I dust away the powder before taking Charlotte Tilbury's Beautiful Skin Sunkissed Glow Bronzer to the high points of my face. I like doing this after powder as this bronzer brings back some of the colour and glow that I lost when I set my makeup. To bring back even more glow, I use Revolution's Bright Light Highlighter on my cheekbones, nose and inner corners of my eyes. The final step of my makeup is my lips. I swipe Benefits Benetint all over my lips and take any excess left on my fingers on the areas where I apply blush. For every day, I find that consistency between my blush and lip colour makes my overall makeup look more harmonious. I would usually take Max lip pencil to line my lips, but I'd lost it in the ether of my bag while I was filming. So instead, I use the Kohl eyeliner to lightly outline my lips. Luckily, the creamy consistency makes this product work really well as a lip liner. I use a combination of my finger and a brush to blend my lip products together. As I'm sure you've picked up by now, I'm a fan of cohesiveness when it comes to my makeup, so I take the excess lip products from the brush and apply a bit to the bridge of my nose. I feel like this ties all the areas where I use blush together. This is the makeup. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and I'll see you in my next one. Bye. Bye.